Hi, this is Jeff with Slater's Racing. This video is about how to measure squish band clearance. That's the clearance between the outer edge of the piston and the squish band of the head, which is this area right in here. Please excuse me if this video is a little bit shaky or whatever. I'm trying to do this by myself today because my videographer is sick. So anyhow, we're measuring the clearance between the squish band and the top of the piston. And we do that with solder. You can see I've got a piece of solder sitting in here already. I've put a little U shape in the middle of it here just to keep it from rotating. You don't have to do it that way. You can actually put a little uh, glob of grease on the top of your piston and just use a straight piece of solder if you wish. But you do want it uh, right in the center and from side to side, not front to back. Because the pistons rock front to back. Uh, pistons move, you know, like this front to back, but they don't do that side to side. That's why we're measuring it this way. And I have a selection of solder, and I would suggest you do the same. Solder is cheap. You want preferably a lead solder or, or solder that has a percentage of lead in it. And it needs to be a hollow core, so a rosin core or an acid core solder so that it can squish. Uh, there are some lead-free solders these days, and those are very hard, and I do not recommend you use them for this application. You also do not have to leave the O-rings in here. Those can be removed if you wish, because those get squished all the way when you tighten the head, so they do not affect the clearance. So what we do is you back the piston off uh, just a little bit before top dead center. So that would be top dead center, just a little bit before. Set the solder in there. And I'd recommend that you remove your ignition cover so that you can put a wrench on this nut. It's a 17 millimeter. And you can do it with the Kickstarter, but it's a little questionable because it's hard to turn the motor over just a short distance with the Kickstarter. And you only need to turn it over just a few degrees of revolution. So I'm going to try to set this head on here one-handed, see how this works out. Okay, so the head is on. And for the purpose of this test, I'm just going to use two bolts. Excuse me for the purpose of this video because I'm just trying to speed things up but when you're doing this at home I recommend that you put in all six bolts and torque them down I'm not going to torque it for this test. I'm just going to snug it a little. Like I said, I don't use just two like this. This is not it. Just because it won't be quite as accurate. It's actually probably close enough, but um, I'm just using two for the purpose of this video to speed things up a little. And then I'm going to put the wrench on down here. And I'm going to rotate it till I. So, right there, I can feel the solder hitting. So, let's discuss the solder for just a minute. So, I, I have a selection of solders because you know, I have a selection of different thicknesses of solders. So, you need. I've got them for like 110 thousandths, and I've got 85 thousandths, and I've got some that are around in their 40s. And you just have to go to a hardware store or a plumbing supply store with your calipers and measure some to, to buy a selection. And the reason is, is you don't want a big fat solder and then squish it down to a really thin dimension because you could possibly damage the top of the piston somewhat unlikely but it could happen and if there's a lot of pressure when you go to crank the motor 
turn the motor over with the wrench, then you've got too thick of a solder in there. So a uh, stock KTM has in the 80 to 85 thousandths range of clearance. That's just a box stock engine. This one uh, with this S3 head on it has got a tighter clearance. So I'm using a little bit thinner solder. And right there is where it's hitting. And then that's all it took to push it beyond. Now if you got a crank on that wrench, then stop and put in a thinner solder. Okay, so now we've got the solder squished. Sorry, this is a little difficult to do by myself. But I'm gonna get my engine done here and I don't wanna wait till my, till my wife is feeling better. So I'm gonna get this knocked out today. So there's the solder and you can see that it's squished over there on both sides. It doesn't touch it in the middle because that's where the dome of the head is. It just touches it where the squish bend is. Let's see here. So there you can see it's flattened and that's what you want to measure. So now you take your calipers across this dimension right here that's been flattened and you measure that. That's how you do the test. That's one of the methods. Now I'm going to show you step two on how to do a second method. 